Hey guys, Grease Monkey Switch Roy here, coming to you a video about my Ford F-250. Gonna be repairing the tailgate today, finally. Been a couple, about a year and a half. So, I picked this tailgate up from a friend of mine for like 50 bucks. So, that's a pretty good deal. It perforates straight. The door handle works. Or, the tailgate handle. And yeah. But it, did, it got these holes here, these three quarter inch holes. And I'm gonna be filling them today with some sheet metal. And then it got some, then the, some of these holes on a tack weld. And they got this nice rusty spot down here. And the same on this other side. But it, it looked like a really good tailgate, so yeah. Everything's strong. Last year I did have to fix this a little bit in here. It got a little bit bad. But that all nice and strong. Same with this side, I'm gonna have to fix it a little bit. But it's a straight tailgate for 50 bucks. And it closed. So you can't really get any better than that. So I'm gonna take it off, set it on these uh, stands, and start taking the grinder to it and uh, clean it up a little bit. Plus, um, it don't match the paint color. The white with uh, the, like t dark turquoise metallic paint. So that, that what we're gonna be doing the tailgate with. And I got some nice designs for uh, some nice uh, Ford lettering. I'm gonna be putting on. So we'll see that soon. First of all, I get this tailgate off. Now to get this off, I'll take this down. This is a little tab. Pull it up. Take the cable off. Pull this side out. Pull that side out. And there you go. Tailgate is off. As you can see, it is pretty rusty in here. Gonna need a nice little patch job for sure. You see my plates I did last year in here, so. And nice and strong, same on this side. But filling these holes is gonna be a pain, so see what we can make the use of. When you always grind, remember to get your little goggles or sunglasses. You kind of scuff around here and get it all nice and ready. This is to uh, cut this out. So uh, that is a pretty pretty large. So nice square cut. So I can put a patch in. Same with that side. Okay guys, I always like to use a square and a black marker. Make it all nice and square, easy to weld a new piece in. So look like it's gonna be about an inch and a half, two inches. And look like about seven and a half inches long. So, what you don't know at a square, these, this is an inch and a half right here. So, if you can cover that, mostly you line it up and mark it. Always want to go a little bit more than what you need because you know you never know with the rust. The rust could go from here all the way up to here, but I don't think it is nice and stiff over here. So 
mark that side and uh, start cutting. Okay, guys, got it all marked out. That is starting a little bigger. So, get the grinder and line it up and start cutting. And it's pretty that simple. Take this piece out and you lay it on a piece of metal and you cut it out the same. You take this piece out and you lay it on a piece of metal and you cut it out the same size. And then you start tack welding it back in after you clean up the edges. Now all you want to do is take a chisel and chisel the rust out of the out of the bottom here, get it all out, clean up, and then yeah, get ready to weld a new piece in. So I gotta do the same with that side, this side a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna get to doing that. Okay guys, I got the marked out on there. You trace around it. So, got both of them marked out. So, not the piece we gotta cut out. Okay guys, I'm going the wool here a little bit much. Forgot the video. But all I'm doing is taking a little circle disc of metal, uh, welding a rod onto them, and then making them uh, the size you need to fit in these holes with the grinder. And we just hold them there and tack weld them in. This one is all polished. So that one nice. This one here I just welded in. So yeah, that would look like before you grind it. Yeah, so I got four more to do. Just to let you guys see. Just like a little, uh... So guys, here we go. With the little piece. I'm gonna load it in there. in there. I'm going to take the grinder and cut it off and fully load it in. Okay guys, it's pretty hard to catch on the camera but I got it mostly in there. Just going to tack it up the rest of the way. Well guys, got it all welded in. I had to put another plate on this side because uh, it wasn't the, it came over more, the rust. So, it all cleaned up for welding. So, time to get the grinder out with the grinding wheel and do some grinding and take some of these edges off. Make it all nice and smooth. These edges are already done, so. Clean this up and get ready for some primer after I grind it. Okay guys, got it all cleaned up. So, gonna spray some uh, brake cleaner on it. Or well, you can use Vossel to clean it. And time to put some uh, good old putty on. Okay guys, got the putty mixed and put it all on. So, this is what it is. Just like drywall, drywall paste, but you have to mix the hardener with it. So I got it all on. So yeah, I'm gonna wait for it to dry, and tomorrow I'm going to sand it and prime it. Okay, guys, next day, the putty is all nice and hard. 
a little bit of material on the two corners. I wanted to make sure to fill everything. So to take it down a little bit faster, I got the Makita sander. And after that, we're going to be hitting with a sanding block with some uh, finer grits of sandpaper. Probably go up to about 800. And then, yeah. So we're going to be starting out with uh, around 120 grit to take this down a little bit. Just a little bit, so, yeah. Okay, I get started. Okay, guys, got it all sanded and primed. Just through some basic primer. But, yeah. She's looking pretty good. All one color. So, wait until it's dry and I'm going to put a strip of white down the center and then two uh, some dark turquoise on the top and on the bottom to match the truck okay guys I'm gonna start painting first I'm gonna do the all white and then I'm gonna switch over to you want to go on a sweeping pattern And guys, when you paint, I'm using some less coat paint. Uh, always soak your can in some uh, hot water. Get a nice, if make it the, um, it make your paint more thinner. So when you spray it out, a more better even sheet when it's uh, a little bit hotter, a little bit warmer because it's cool outside. But yeah, we got the first coat on. I'm going to do about three to four coats of white and it's going to require six coats of a dark turquoise metallic. Yeah, The center is going to be white and the top and bottom are going to be dark turquoise metallic. Okay guys, got it all painted out in the sun, reading it, reading it dry, but she turned out good. Yeah. Time to float on the truck and see how it looks. Okay guys, got the tailgate installed. Look pretty good. The color is off a little bit, gotta go a, little, a couple more shades darker, but I can do it after. But yeah, down here not all uh, rusty down here no more and there's no holes in here. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.